guys and welcome to the latest episode of Every Platform. Today we're at Marylebone Underground Station for an episode of Trains Hat. No, I'm joking. Um, today we're uh, going to be travelling around on another London travel card and we're going to be visiting several London stations. Some of them which you may have seen before, which are going to be more detailed, and some of them which you've probably never seen before on a video. So it's going to be a good mix of different ones. So very quickly we'll do the rounds. Joining on the trip today we have Alex. Alex is trained to spot uh, Alex is trained to yeah, CSM spotting. We have Cam J. Kerman joining. We have Southern Train Spotter 2006. We have Avanti West Spotter 390. We have SWR Train Plan. And we have Taylor's Trains and more. He's hiding over there. <laughs> we also have Yorkshire Train Enthusiast and um, Kent. Is it Kent Rail Enthusiast or Kent Rail Spot or something like that? Also joining us. So we've got a lot of people today. Total of 10 of us. So yeah, there's quite a lot. Oh, is that a shame? Anyway, so um, we're going to go and head over to our first stop, which is Marylebone. And we're going to go from there. If you do wish to check out the updates on post, etc. Please, and trips, please check out the Facebook group and Instagram. Let's get started on, on today's episode of Every Platform from the London Travel Car. <clears throat> so we have made it to Marylebone and arriving in we actually have a Chilton 168 which is pulling in, terminating in, I, mean, I imagine, from Birmingham Mall Street because it's a 168, and it probably is actually. And it is 168003 that's coming in. As well as 165015. And there's 168003. Lining up nicely there. A bit more Chilton Railways action from the last video as well. Okay, right, okay, so 165013, and because I've got to run for it, we're going to see some fast action from the video. 165036, we're going to be taking this to Wembley Stadium as we go. Well, I'll take you. And we get there. Okay, we've made it to the first station on today's video, Wembley Stadium. Managed by Chilton Railways and also branding their old logo. So, yes. We're going to watch the turbo head out and then we're going to have a see what other trains are coming through in the time away. Right, going out now is the 1022 turbo. So this, uh, this station, oh god, hello Alex, hello. this station is Wembley Stadium. Now last time we did a video on in London, this station we didn't really get to cover very well. This time I am, hello, E400, might be a, likely to be a hybrid one. Um, anyway, so um, Wembley Stadium, this station serves a Chiltern Railway service pretty much every hour, I think it's every half an hour generally. The Oxford services are the ones that call here, as well as the Aylesbury services, I believe, also call here. Um, I think generally it's one train an hour at most points, but I think on match days and on events, more trains stop. Um, you can also change here for Wembley Arena, which is also technically near Wembley Stadium, and London Designer Outlet, which is good for shopping. Designer Outlet would say a lot. Um, the station itself is managed by Chilton, and serves quite a lot of passing services and this underground underpass if you want to call it this underpass pretty cool and the announcements at 
There you go. Pretty cool announcement. Anyway, we're now going to make our way over. We'll update you when we uh, get to the well, when the next train arrives, which we're going to film the 1027. Okay, arriving now is the 1027 Shilton Railway service from Oxford to ah. London Marylebone. It's one of another two turbos. Quite busy as well. And we'll see this one go out. Oh, it's only two two cars this time, four coaches. We'll date you when it leaves. So the partner out there, 165021 and something else as well. The number I completely forgot to get. That's a 1027 Shilton Railway service to London Marylebone from Oxford. So now we're going to head over and we're going to go see what else shall pop up. Right, we now arrived into Wembley Central. Uh, here we are. Now we've lost two people because they stay back at Wembley Stadium to see a 68 go past. We're sticking to plan. Um, so here is Wembley Central. We have seen this in video before, but certainly <laughs> quite rushed last time. So here we are. We'll update you when we get onto the platform. So something really interesting about Wembley Central whilst we're here is you're actually not allowed to go onto the platform until five minutes before the train is actually due to leave. The reason being is because, I don't know if you've heard that turbulence there, but it's because, as uh, Tom said, Yorkshire train enthusiast who's there, you said it was because of the tunnels, didn't you? Yeah, so it's because of the tunnels. Um, basically, because the trains pass through, it causes massive turbulence and it's not really safe to be down there when you can't actually go down. So you have to wait here for a member staff, they let us through, and then we go down to the platform. So yeah, pretty interesting. Hang on. Right, so we're now at the mainline platforms here. So on platform six, we used to Clapham and East Croydon to Southern also stop here, but... Oh, 66. We actually have a Marathon. 66 coming through. Uh, it is a Maritime 66. This is a very quiet part of... So... Ellen of you are, yeah. So, here comes a 66. We will film it come through. I'd get back behind the line, Brandon. Through, 66 46 went through so we're now going to wait here as the trains so it's not actually these two platforms that pass through it's on five and four they pass through but they will also you know the, the freight and stuff will come through here anyway so we're gonna wait for our train and we'll update you when it arrives this is Wembley Central serving London Underground London Overground and here's a 350 Whatever the numbers were, 350 something and 350 something. Um, but yeah, that was off to Crewe from London Euston apparently. So, um, 
the Wembley Central serves. So it's London Overground between London Euston and Watford on the Watford DC line, as well as the Bakerloo line that serves again towards Harrow and Wilston and then southbound towards Elephant and Castle. And then also the next train to arrive at platform six is the also 10, serving here. London Northwestern Railway service to Euston, calling at Euston. This train is formed of eight coaches. Here we go. 350 128. And 352 60. Quite busy as well. We'll update you when we uh, when we get to Euston. Okay, we have now made it to London Euston and we have 35368 with six here at the moment. Uh, I don't think we've got any sort of trains due out at the moment. We've got a couple of minutes so. But uh, this is the main terminus of the West Coast main line in terms of London. We'll take a quick walk along because it's quite busy. But uh, yeah, here we are, Euston. The way up is over here. Now, Vanity London Overground and London Northwestern Railway are companies who serve it, as well as Caledonian Sleeper. Um, but yeah, the way out is very busy because today, uh, I believe it's the FA Cup side between Chelsea and Plymouth. And yeah, my train was full of Plymouth fans this morning. It was bonkers. So, yeah. But here we are. There's another shot, 35368. And also we've got a liveried 350 over here, which has got Birmingham Airport livery on it. Uh, as well as that, yeah, plenty to see really. We won't stay, spend too much time there, so we've got to get going. But this is London Euston. Also popping in here at London Euston, we have a London Overground 710. 710 258, terminating from Watford Junction. So there that one is. Looking lovely and shiny. Too bad the train isn't that good. Okay, now we are here now at London St Pancras. There's the uh, very cool logoed station sign, which I'm going to get a picture of as part of the series. There we go. There it is. So we go inside, and you can see all of London St Pancras, and it's many, many services, international services. Regional services, East London's Railway and South Eastern into Kent, as well as Thameslink on the on the core. But as we walk up, this is London St Pancras. And as we walk up here, you can see it all, all of it is an incredible station. Very lovely, very great. I, I love this. It's a bloody fantastic station, is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're now going to make our way down to the lower level of St Pancras. Unfortunately, we don't really have a lot of time to film what stuff come out of the station, but maybe another time. But what we are going to do now is go down to the lower level and we're going to head to City Thameslink station, which was actually missed on the last time I did a, this one, which was actually planned in, but this time we're going to do it. So yeah, we'll update you shortly. Yeah, that's EMR up there. So, over here, so Thameslink, are the company, well, brand, we're getting, to uh, the next station, City Thames, though. Now, um, I might as well call it City Ford, since it's called Thames, though. Anyway, so, um, the, what we're basically going to do is, um, well, fun fact about the platforms, actually, is that they're called Platform A and B. They're not called... So, A and B are the two platforms on the core. Oh, my God. Probably not. Um, anyway, so, obviously right here is the main central area of St Pancras, as you look around it. And the very classic looking departure screens are over here, which are really, really cool. So you can see these over here. These really, really cool departure screens that basically are like almost flipped. A bit like what you'd see maybe in back in... You know, back in the day, if you like, if you want to call it that. It's very, very classic and very nice. Um, it's obviously modernised with modern technology and 
lighting but it is very very nice but yeah now we're gonna head off to City Tens then here are the Chelsea fans everyone busy but we're we're gonna try and get on as quick as we can and as sensible and safely as we can to get to City Thames Link. So here we go. Okay right now we're right here at City Thames Link. Finally managed to cover it. We're gonna wait for the train to leave because it is rammed full of people. So we're gonna wait until it leaves. Okay the now is the 11.42 Thames Link service to Redhill from Bedford. There goes 7020 heading out on a service from Red Hill to Bedford. That's by Thameslink. So, this is City Thameslink station. Now, I didn't get to cover this one last time because of the fact that it was so awkward um, because we ran out of time and it was it was hectic. Anyway, to give you a brief detail, this station you can change for St Paul's Cathedral, a landmark of London. As well as that, um, this station, interestingly, is the station in which the 700s change over power. So if it comes from Bedford, it will change from an AC to a DC electric. In other words, overhead wires to third rail. And if it comes from the Red Hill slash Brighton whatever direction, it will then go from DC up to AC, which is third rail to overhead wires. The station's two platforms and uh, serves pretty much the Thameslink core. And Thameslink core is basically central London, served by about a million Thameslink trains within an hour. Yeah, it's bonkers. Um, you'll see a difference in a minute when the next Thameslink service comes in, which we'll film, which is to Sutton. You'll see the difference, because you see it when it arrives in comparison to when it departs. Two, from the 1149 service to Sutton via Wimbledon. There you go, here comes the next train. Calling it London Black Pines, Elephant Castle, Duffer Junction, Hernfield, Tom Seal, Streatham, Tootsie, Aiken's Road, Wimbledon, Wimbledon Chase, Southampton, Morton South, Capellia. 700 003 on this one, 1149 from St Albans City to Sutton. Okay, off goes 700 003 heading out to. Sutton. Lovely spark there from the 700 as well. Did it spark? It did. Brandon missed it. Anyway, so uh, we're now going to head over to our next station, which will be revealed in a minute. 
Okay, arriving now is going to be the 1156 Thames Link service to London Blackfriars. This one is from Bedford. 70153. I'm going to take this to London Blackfriars. I'll take you when we get there. Right, so what's the 700 weights? This is London Blackfriars. This station is again on the Thames Link core. And again, serves quite a few services. So, this here is a look over the Thames. Now, there's a lot of riverboat services that run across various piers near here, one of them being the one at London Bridge, near, Lo near London Bridge. But as you can see, this is the London cityscape, which looks incredible. The city, the city skyline looks amazing. Um, this station is just incredible. It's one of the probably the best looking stations in London, in my opinion, is Blackfriars. It's got such a lovely view over from the actual station platforms. Imagine if you were stood up on that bridge, you could just see the trains from a distance and be in the middle. It's amazing. Lovely station. Really looking forward to uh, maybe spending a bit more time here in the future. So looking around the area. But today we're a bit short for time, but we are here at Blackfriars. Okay, we've reached a very sunny London Blackfriars and we're going to see the train head out in just a moment and then we'll update you from there. It's the go right, Puff here one. we go. We have a route master which is going to take us to London Bridge. I'll we'll update you when we get there. Okay, so here we have London Bridge. We are here. I've never seen and oh, okay. Station, massive, absolutely massive station. This managed by Network Rail and serves various services by Thameslink, Southern, Southeastern, and various others as well. It is a really, really busy station. It's fantastic, really. We're going to see what other trains we can actually film here. But yes, we are now here. At, that's not a three one three. That's a four five five. Anyway, I'm smart. Um, he's brilliantly smart. Um, so yeah, there's a 307 to Uckfield, which is actually going to be formed of a 171. So might be tempted to film that leave. But otherwise, yeah, we'll update you in a bit. Right, after a little bit of a rush, we're now on board 376s, numbers of which we'll get when we arrive into um, Lewisham, our next stop. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a mad dash that one, but we will. So, I'll update you um, when we get there. Sorry, a bit of a brief clip, but uh, yeah, so it was a bit of a mad rush. But yeah. Okay, hey, we've now made it here to uh, Lewisham, located on part of the southeastern main line, I believe. Or some, some sort of line, anyway. Uh, I'd have to research it a little bit. But this is the 1320 Southeastern service to Plumstead, and we're going to see it go out in a minute. Uh, yeah, it's actually about to head out now. It's quite useful actually because. Uh, Three seven six zero one nine is the rear of that one. Didn't get the front though. And on the rear, this one is four six five double zero three. Now Lewisham is serves um, pretty much the network, so they go towards um, services like towards Dartford and Plumstead and towards London Charing Cross. They can also go into Victoria and Cannon Street from here as well at points. But it's mostly the Charing Cross and Victoria for the terminus points. Um, but yeah, the South East Centre is probably one of the other ones I don't actually, I actually know the least about, which is quite surprising, really, given given you know 
I, I've been on the rail, I've travelled on the rail for another few years. Um, but yeah, so this station pretty much serves 376s and also serves the 465s. I do believe the City Beams, which is the 777, also serve here, but I could well be wrong about that. Um, it also is also served by the DMR, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is Lewisham. We'll update you uh, very shortly. Okay, arriving in now is the 1326 Southeastern Service to Dartford via Bexley Heath, which is 465162. Four being the rear, there you go. Okay, going out now is four six five, one six two, and one seven four, heading out to Dartford. Four six five zero two six even, not one seven four. Don't know why, but someone said it was one seven four. It's not. Anyway, uh, then on goes, heading off to Dartford. Off goes the 1330 Southeastern, excuse me, Southeastern service to Dartford. Had a Metcam engine, but we didn't make it up in time. Annoying, but there we go. There's a Premier in there looking right over the station. How great. So there's Lewisham. And now we're going to make our way over to the next station on the plan, uh, which is actually going to be a little bit later on in the plan, but you will see Strat, um, sorry, North Greenwich come up next. So we'll see you there. Okay, here we have 376 004 turning up. And this will be forming a service, I imagine, towards Plumstead. We won't be filming this one go out because we've already filmed the 376. There it is. Okay, so we're now here at Lewisham's DLR platforms. Now, we're actually going to get the 108 bus, which is operated by Sataro, but uh, unfortunately, it ran stupidly late because of the amount of traffic that was in Lewisham. Yeah, Lewisham's All traffic. All temporary traffic lights, it was bonkers. So anyway, what we did was we gave up in the end, and now we're going to be going to uh, Canary Wharf, I think, in yeah, this one. Canary Wharf. And then, um, only after 45 minutes of bus stop. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Here we are. At least the DLR experience will be cool. Yeah, it's very bouncy. I'm looking forward to it. There will be. Right, we'll um, update you when we're on board. Okay, we just got off at Heron Keys station on the DLR. And off goes the DLR, heading over towards Canary Wharf now, service to Bank. So there we are, that's Heron Keys where we are now, the Jubilee line, which is where we're going to go next. So we'll update you then. Okay, we're now heading into Canary Wharf station, which then essentially is going to take us over um, to Stratford, where we're headed next. We might as well go down that way. So as 
we go down here, you can see it is basically inside a, uh, or on the entrance to a shopping centre as you go down. Pretty cool actually. So, yeah, it's a very well off area, this Canary Wharf. So, um, yeah, not bad. Now I'm going to head over to Stratford. I'll take you when we are on, on the tube train approaches or the underground train approaches. Here's our train. This is the uh, Jubilee line. And you see with the doors, there's two sets of doors. There you go, two sets. Pretty cool. Right, let's take you in my yes. Right. We have now reached Stratford. Um, the Jubilee line platforms anyway. So, um, so yeah, um, our plan now is to head to Romford um, as we continue on our travel card. Now, we did mean to have some time in Stratford, but because of all the change in plans, we got a lot less time, but it did kill time, which was good. So it means now we're back on plan with time with less time here, which was, which is probably better actually. Which is better. I would have gone to West Ham Stadium. We won't have time. Yeah, no. Anyway. Um anyway, so um I'll update you in a minute when we get onto the mainline platforms and we'll see if anything pops up during our way. Right, we're now here at Stratford. Um on our video today. Um so plan here at Stratford is to head to Romford. And over there is a 720. She's going to be forming a service to Meridian Water. Here is platform 910, which are the mainline platform. But arriving in as well, we also have a TFL rail service from London Liverpool Street to Shenfield, formed of a 345. There's that one, we'll see it go out in a minute. But yes, we're, um, we're going to film the service to Romford. Oh, our service taking us to Romford in a minute. Okay, and also arriving in is a Greater Anglia service, a 1520 service to London Liverpool Street. It's 345020 goes out. And here comes 720549. There's 72549 to London Liverpool Street. Okay, and to round things off, we have a pair of 321s turning up. This isn't our train. This is on the 1523 to London Liverpool Street. Is 720 574 and something else as well but the point is now here's our train 72574 and we're going to be taking this to Romford so I think when we get there okay so now we're here at Romford in here before very familiar station, but uh, we will update you when the uh, 720 leaves. Okay, the front now is 72574, heading out on a service, the yeah, 1530 service to service to South End Victoria from London Liverpool Street and this is Romford. Now this station is the junction for a very small branch line, very small branch line to um, Upminster. As well as that it serves TfL Rail to Shenfield and it is a common interchange point for the local stops. We do also have a passing train which I believe is another 720. Yeah it is another 720. I 
725 pin. Right, there we go. Okay, so something pretty interesting actually about Rumford is it's very similar to that of Wembley Central. Um, basically, it's got a gate and it's for the fast lines. Basically, you cannot go cross to the fast this platform until a train arrives. Pretty cool actually, but I know why because of the fast Great Eastern mainline services to go through. So yeah, it is gated off and it's another Wembley Central example. We do have another train which is... What was it? 5.30 to Clacton on Sea. 7.25.30 to Clacton on Sea, there you go. So yes, this is Romford. We're now going to make our way over to a uh, car platform where we're going to go to a very little station and also, funnily enough, I believe the least used station in London, Emerson Park. Okay, coming through now, we've got a 745 to London Liverpool Street. Seven four five double oh six from Norwich to Liverpool Street. So that one goes, and now we're going to head over to our fast platform. So the next station we're heading to is going to be Emerson Park. And there's Tay overtaking. Now, one thing about Emerson Park that's worth knowing. Again, I believe it is the least used station in London. And not only that, it is also the platform for the Upminster service. It's all the way around here. It's very very hidden. We have 710106, which is going to take us to Emerson Park, but it is so far along the platform, it's Romford's platform, I think, is pretty hidden actually. Um, not easy to find without the right signage. So here it is, 710506, sorry, 710106, and we're going to grab this and take it to Emerson Park. So we'll update you in a minute. Right, here we are at Emerson Park. And we're going to see the 720 go out in just a minute. So there goes 710-106 off to Upminster from Romford. Now here is the very quiet Emerson Park, located on the Romford to Upminster line. Now. As far as I'm aware, and I could be wrong, Emerson Park is the least used station in London. But I am going to very quickly confirm that for you. So hang on, two seconds. Least used station. I should have checked this really before I came out, but it brings the suspense. So, least used station in London. Oh, actually, okay, never mind. So, Emerson Park used to be the least used station in London. The least used station in London, surprise, surprise, is Heathrow Terminal 4. <laughs> but I wonder why that is. It's not like the terminal's closed or anything. 162 passengers, how did they get through? Anyway, so yes, that is... So yeah, this is Emerson Park and um, we'll update you in a minute. Right guys, sorry, I apologise. Let me confirm my fact about Emerson Park. It's the least used London Overground station. It's not the least used station in London. I'm going mental. It's the least used Overground station. And you can probably tell why it is, because it's dead, uh, barring us being here. So yeah, we're now going to head over and we're going to get the bus and we're going to Upminster. So I'll update you when we get there. Right, so now we're here in Upminster and uh, we just got off Upminster's, uh, sorry, we got off the bus at Upminster station, which was the 248-15010 which is a Scania Omni City pretty, pretty nice stagecoach one as well which is pretty cool um, anyway so as we approach over here this is Upminster Station operated by C2C the bus is heading off as well but as we uh, as that one goes past we're now here at Upminster we'll update you when we're in the station and tell you more about it Okay, so there's no C2C running here. It's a very quiet Upminster today, as we're going to be heading on the London Underground to Barking next here at Upminster. Um, but yeah, this station does generally serve C2C between London Fenchurch slash Liverpool Street and Grays, as well as uh, Shoebury Ness and South End. So yes, and then London Underground serve here on the District and Hammersmith and City line. 
as well as um, London Overground serving as services to Romford. But yeah, that is Upminster Station in a nutshell. There's not really much to see here, so we're going to okay. go ahead to Barking. Right. We've got our train here. This is the district line, which is going to be heading over to Barking. Uh, I don't know when it's leaving, but sometime. Next train departs from platform four. Oh, okay. Is it worth actually going over? And it's gone. <laughs> right, so the next one will be this one. Right, we'll update you in a minute. Right, we're now here at Black Horse Road station. And we're going to see the 710 make its way out any second now. We'll update you in just a moment as it heads out. So there goes 710273, heading out on the service to Gospel Oak from Barking. We've got another 710 which is sat in here, it's very windy. Don't know why, but it is. Anyway, Black Horse Road. Here we are, we're away from the wind now, it's very windy though. That time of day, I presume. Anyway, um, Black Horse Road serves the uh, Gospel Oak's Barking line, it's called the Goblin, the Goblin line, which takes you from Barking. It serves quite a few local stations within Walthamstow, within Tottenham as well, uh, but this one Black Horse Road as well. Now, Black Horse Road station, the entrance is actually quite nice. I'm going to show you why in a minute. Oh no, there's 710261 heading out to Barking. That's a 1712 service from London Overground. So there's not really much else to say about Black Horse Road other than it has quite a nice little entrance, says Brandon. Um, thousands of different high rises. Yeah. And it's very windy, there's another fact. Anyway, so we'll update you, we'll go show you the entrance because it is quite nice. And then we're going to make our way to the next station on the plan, which is South Tottenham. And we'll update you very soon. There's the entrance to it, as I said. And the only reason I like it is mainly because um, it's got a bit of artwork to it on the front, which is obviously the black horse right there. So, pretty nice. Nice little design, I suppose. But yeah, there's Black Horse Road. We're now going to make our way to South Tottenham, following another, well, we're going to head on another bus. Okay, so we're now here at South Tottenham Station. This is the other, one of the other stations in Tottenham. Um, London Overground managed, of course, because we're sticking with that theme for a little bit. So, yeah, we've got 13 minutes for our train, so it's like ideal. So, the outside the station, I mean, the Overground sign is a bit lit up, and a little bit of artwork down here, actually, as well. Someone's actually uh, done this and made it out of what it looks like stained glass south tottenham pretty nice anyway we'll head in i'm not waiting for that so here we are on the platforms of south tottenham another station on the goblin line also there's a bridge just ahead which crosses over with the west anglia main line which goes towards tottenham hale and then towards uh today chesant because the line's shut towards uh anything beyond towards broxbourne so um yeah, this station, pretty basic. It's, it's your standard London Overground commuter station. However, this one has crossed over tracks. So it's pretty cool. You can actually cross over between the two should there be a problem. That's pretty decent. Um, other than that, the station purely really serves um, 710s going between Gospel Oak and Barking. Freight also, I believe, does go through here when it goes towards Dagenham. Um, so it will go through. I know Gospel Oak's quite known for it. So this will be too because it goes along the Goblin. So yeah, this is South Tottenham. Um, now, fun fact for you. I wonder if Alex can answer this. Hello. Can you remember what trains used to run on these before the 710s came in? 172s and then before that 150s. It was 172s. And before that? 150s. 150, which ones? Uh, dash what? Uh, ones. Yeah, 150 dash ones. Yeah, that's Silverlink. It was Silverlink. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'll update you when our train arrives. Okay, arriving in now is the 1809 London Overground service from Gospel Oak to Barking, which is formed of a number 710. That's at the crossover tracks you can just see there, but they don't seem to use it that often. 
1808 even. And it is 710, uh, 259. Oh God, it's rammed. Actually, it's not, it's not that bad, it's just even getting off. This one will go up in a minute. There goes 710259 heading over to Barking from Gospel Oak. Speaking of Gospel Oak, that's the next station we're visiting on today's episode. We have four more stations to go. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what they are very soon. All right, arriving now is going to be the 1813 London Overground service to Gospel Oak. This is our train to Gospel Oak, funnily enough. And it is 710. 256. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Yeah, that's fine. 256. So we'll jump on this and we'll go to Gospel Oak and we'll update you when we get there. We just got off here now at Gospel Oak. Terminus point in the Goblin Line, also the junction for the um, other railway lines go towards Stratford, Richmond, Clapham Junction. So, yes. There's a clock in four minutes. Cool, we'll get that one then. So we've only been put down about six minutes. That's not too bad. Right, so, um, station itself, the slot freight, it is kind of a basic station, this one. But it is well, it is an interchange, so that's the important bit. Uh, like I said, services to Stratford, which it terminates at, as well as towards Richmond and Clapham Junction as well. Um, so, well, you guys want to head over? So, yes, this is um, eight minutes. And there's the platform up there, which leads up to the Goblin 710256. So, we'll update you when we get to well, when our train arrives in to take us to Wilsden Junction. Okay, arriving now is the 1832 London Overground Service yeah. to Clapham Junction. We're taking this to Wilson Junction, it is a free 7 8. Oh, okay. And we had 710 256 this time, 378 256. We'll update you when we get to Wilson Junction. Okay, we're now here at Wilsden Junction and departing is 378256, heading out to Clapham Junction. Oh. Three seven eight two five six there, uh, heading out. We're now going to make our way over to the lower levels of Wilson Junction and head over to Queen's Park to update you when we get there. Right, we're now on the lower levels of Wilson Junction and about to arrive in is the 1854 London Underground. I'm never ever going to relive, relive myself by trying to say a time of an underground service, but 1854 London Underground Service, that sounds really weird, <laughs> to Elephant and Castle from uh, Harrow and Wildstone. We're going to take this to Queen's Park. Oh my god, I feel bigger than that. You are a midget train. Here we are at Queen's Park. And the Bakerloo line service is probably going to head off any second. Where does this go? Yep. Elephant Castle. Harrow's the other one. Right, so off it goes. Heading off to Harrow. Um, Elephant Castle, I'm doing it now. That one's in a bit of a state, that one is. Um, unlike some of the others. So yeah, this is Queen's Park. Uh, you can change trains here for Overground, so you Watford, but again, you can do that on most of the services, or stations on this line. 
Queen's Park is also a terminus for the Bakerloo line. Now, there is actually a little railway shed just beyond there that actually stores a lot of Bakerloo line units. And as you can see from the flashes, there's a lot of sparks that happen out of here because of the slowness of the line going out of Queen's Park. Um, especially leaving, going towards like um, the northbound towards Harrow. Here we have another Bakerloo line service. Going to Harrow and Wildstone. You can obviously see from its approach how many sparks it actually has. But it is a lot and it's a 15 mile per hour limit. So this station is also a national rail station, so it technically counts um, and is managed by London Underground, so it's a bit of a weird one really. But um, yeah, this is Queen's Park and uh, we're going to wait for another train and we're going back to Paddington. Right. Apparently now we have a... Another Bakerloo line service which is uh, going to be heading over to Elephant and Castle. This one actually starts here at Queen's Park. Came from a little siding over there. This one's in a better state as well, kind of. They're not really all in good state. Yeah, but some of them look better than others do. Better state, definitely. So I have a bit of trivia question for you guys who's watching. Can you name the second oldest underground stock after the Bakerloo line stock? What's the second oldest? Answers in the comments. Right, so this train is our one. We're going to take this to Paddington after we just visit the Queen's Park very quickly. And we'll update you when we get to Paddington. Right, we're right, then now into uh, Bakerloo Paddington. The doors are just so like, tricky and annoying, but there we go. Best underground line ever. Here we are. We're going to head straight up to Paddington, so we'll film this one go out. We'll update you in a minute. Right. Okay, so we're here now at London Paddington. Hello, Paddington. Right, we're heading on the Heathrow Terminal 5 service to Acton Main Line in 1918. We'll update you when we're at the platform. Okay, here's our train, 345050, and that's going to take us to Acton Main Line. The next station, the second before last station on the plan. So, here it is. And we'll update you when we get to Acton Main Line off this 345. Here we are, we're at Acton Main Line, managed by TFL Rail, there you go. So, um, we're going to watch this 1924 service, which is heading to um, Heathrow at Terminal 5, we're going to watch it go out. Three four five zero fifty. Then that one goes. Next stop for that one will be Ealing Broadway. Here we are, Acton Main Line. This station is it's very cold here, but very quiet. Um, the station serves. Uh, it's an intermediate stop between London Paddington and Ealing Broadway. Now, basically, this station serves, and I think it's one of three stations in Acton itself with North Acton and Acton Central. But there's seven with the name in it. But there's seven with the name in it, because obviously there's one of them being the most notable freight, Acton Bridge up north. So, which is hardly said by anything. Anyway, so, talking of freight, there's a 66 over there. There we go. Fun fact of the day. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to see if there's any GWR services to pass through, or any 387s for Heathrow. Express, overpriced express, and uh, see if they turn up and go from there. Speaking of passing trains, actually, the answer to that is yes. Here comes an IET. Oh, maybe not. 
nice IET, E4 Express 387 even. I definitely said that right at the beginning. It was the headlights. Right, and then we'll, <laughs> there it goes from Heathrow to Emerald 5 to Paddington. There's an IET, promise that time it is. That's heading over to somewhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess. Bristol Temple Meads. No, joke, I don't even know where. Actually, that's a Swansea service, I think, actually. Oh, there goes an IET heading over to, yeah, heading over to London Paddington. Now we've got another, I believe, Heathrow 387. Passing okay, passing here we have a 345 heading to London Paddington. Three four five zero one six. Now we've got a pair of 387s coming through. Three eight seven one six nine and three eight seven one five two. Now we're going to wait for our train nineteen fifty four. It's going to take us to the final station of today, Ealing Broadway. Okay, arriving here is a 345. This is our 1954 TFL rail service. This is going to take us to Ealing Broadway, the last station of today. So off we go. Anyway, right, here we are at Ealing Broadway and an IT. That's 800 016 to Great Malvern. From London Paddington. That's gonna be a late night into late arrival in Great Malvern. Probably about 22 yeah. something, yeah. So this is uh, Ealing Broadway. It is. Uh, the train is heading off to um, Heathrow Terminal 5. We're gonna find out what 345 it actually was because I didn't actually see it. Uh, which is. Zero three four. Jesus, they they sped out. They really did. So, Ian Broadway, last station of today. Now, what's here? Hmm, terminus for the central and district line. So, a pretty. Is it dis district and central? Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And there's so. proof. And there's proof because there's a there. central line. <laughs> so, um, fast platforms over here. I have filmed here many times. I'm sure anyone who knows me has known I filmed here several times. I do like these. Fifth of October 2019. There you go. That's the last time I did it. He does. He knows it very well. So, um, what's there to know about Eden Broadway? And then there is also London Underground Interchange. We've seen quite a lot of them across the day for the Central and District Line, as well as obviously Great Western Services, the 387s. Uh, this is the first calling point they use outside of Paddington. Um, so, normally on their Didcot Park Road, uh, occasionally Reading services. Um, and obviously TFL Rail stop it here all the time. Reading, Hayes and Harlington, and Heathrow services. So there's a lot. The next train actually here is the 2005 service to Didcot Parkway. So Which that's, that'll be a 387. So we'll probably film that. And then obviously see if we can sneak in a central line train or two, and then we'll head off. And then we'll get on, and then we'll get on the 387 Yeah, that's right. So. What we're going to do. Kieran's favourite announcer. Speaking of central line, actually, goodbye. Well, that was easy. Off that one goes. That's going to wherever. Wait, from here, they will go to Hainault, I believe. Epping. Hainault or Epping, so one of the two. So yes. There's a district line going out behind. That goes to yeah, Ealing, Upminster. Yeah, Upminster. Upminster, there you go. Yeah, right. Well, not just, but anyway, I'll stop yapping. We'll go see what the train's turn. Right, to find out now is TFL rail service to London Paddington. Three 
345032, that one is from Heathrow Terminal 5, as it is next stop is at the main line. Virgin front wheels. That'll, that'll, be, that'll be an niche. That'll train. be SWR train fan, a niche his train from Acton Main Line, so yeah. Okay, the final now is 2005 Great Western Railway Service to Didcot Parkway. On the 387148 and 387158. So good as it leaves. Got a love three eight sevens for that noise they make, especially especially when it goes further away. We do have a train passing oh, no. actually from platform two. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna make it over there in time, but we'll give it a go. Minute, right, so what's gonna come through? There's a train approaching platform two that doesn't stop here. But we have no idea what it is. Great. Oh, maybe we do. Here it comes. We do. I do. To London Paddington, of course. Okay, so here now we are in the London Underground platforms of Ealing Broadway. So, along here, platforms five and six are for the central line at the moment there's not a train for 10 minutes so we're a bit unlucky there um to be honest are we gonna see one come in maybe i think we might hey no yeah hey no this one i thought it was so yeah family connection there um so yeah that's that's the central line and if we turn around and uh, very quickly walk down here YouTube yes mm -hmm. right and down here and district line is, is over here like some guy uh Asked if I did YouTube. He was and guessing, I think. Nice guy. This is the district line platform. Seven, eight, and nine. Wow. Underneath this little train shed thingy. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Never seen this part of Ealing Broadway. It's so more expansive than you believe it to be. Wow. Okay. Right. Well, it's pretty cool anyway, this station. So, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to finish the video here because there is no real underground trains due and I don't really want to spend any time waiting for them so you had a proper tour on Eden Broadway this is a really cool part of it because I didn't actually know this bit was around but there you go oh, well, the train shed, the train the train shed, shed. bit it's nice oh, yeah. it looks a little bit of slide so um, nice. thank you guys for watching today's video from every platform on the London travel card if so you have liked what you've seen I've got a central line train coming in as I talk Please like and subscribe and do leave any comments because I will get that to as long as I can. And please do leave any um, recommendations as well for anything you can do. But like I said, with every platform, I'm visiting everywhere, so it will all be done. Um, basically, this day has been incredible. Um, the only real downside, so there was two downsides for me. Barking because of uh, poor planning for myself. I, but it wasn't really a big deal in the end no. and yeah, the yeah. Lewisham situation yeah, so basically yeah, we were, we we're going to get the 108 bus which is formed of a Sataro but we didn't get it because um, they were late there was loads of traffic in Lewisham so and the, something to redo and the redo. one we planned on was, mass, was full by the time we got on absolutely it was full to the good. brim well, we couldn't even get on so yeah. it's something for next time anyway guys the next episode of every platform will be from West Midlands Day Range of 3 so look out for that one that will be out very soon and for now guys thank you for watching goodbye